Greetings to those who watch below. Before we start today's creepypasta video, I'd like to say thank you to those who dwell below, an exclusive channel membership that gets you shoutouts at the start of every video. So thank you to Steffi Ray, Wicked Witch, Lisa Watts, Lefty Kim, M.A. Way, Julie B, Jess Black Curtain, Christina Groves, and LT Punisher 666. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hitting that notification bell so that you never miss a video. Also, you can find me on Instagram at brimstone underscore below and on Facebook. Also, if you really, really like a video, you can also now leave a super thanks to further support the channel. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Sometimes I like to listen to 911 calls by Gloomara. So there's this database in my hometown of local 911 calls. I like to listen to them every so often, usually when I'm working or doing chores or whatever. They kind of satiate my morbid curiosity of what goes on around this shit town. Most times, they're just ridiculous complaints made by whiny people. Noise complaints, someone is letting off fireworks, or they saw some mysterious figure entering the front door of a home. Someone entering their home in a black hoodie does not make them dangerous, Karen. Other times, they're flat out hilarious. You have people calling in because they've lost their shoes in a river, or someone's fat ass got stuck on the water slide at the pool downtown, or they report seeing a bunch of raccoons stealing food. You know, that type of ridiculous shit. However, there was a phone call that was archived years ago, about 2017, and it was weird. I'll let the call speak for itself. I also found some context to go along with it. I'll include these too. This is a transcript of a 911 call from the residents of Mary Redacted, located in Redacted, IA. The call came in at 8.43pm, and the responders were dispatched within 58 seconds. They arrived at the scene at 8.56pm. 911? Yeah, hello? I see something, someone outside. Who do you see, ma'am? It's someone out there, I think. Just standing? He's been out there a long time. Help. Mom, can you tell me who you see? Do you have any details? Mom, I can't quite understand you. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm looking outside. He's kind of hard to see. He almost looks like a mannequin, if that makes sense. He's just standing there, not really moving. He looks naked, but it's dark. I can't really make him out. Please, just send someone over here. Please, please. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll send someone out for you. What's your name? My name is Mary. I'm 17. I'm staying with my mum, but she's working late tonight. She won't be home about 11. Please, please send someone. Okay, okay, sweetie. Don't worry. We've already sent a couple officers to your location. They should be there soon. Please, tell them to hurry. This guy is creeping me the fuck out. Is the man doing anything aside from standing there? No, he's... he's been there for about five minutes now. Are all the doors locked in your home? Y yeah they are. Let me double check. I'm here, hun. The police will be there soon, okay? Mom, are you there? Fuck. Fuck. Mom, is everything okay? He fucking moved. He fucking moved. Mom, please tell me what's happening. The guy out there. He just moved closer to my house. He's just staring at my downstairs window. Help. Don't worry, sweetie. It shouldn't be much longer now for the police to arrive. Are you in a closed room? Yeah, I am. I'm in my room. My door is shut. I blocked the door with my nightstand. Good. Keep away from the window. And if you have a closet, go in it until the police arrive. Alright, I, I can do that. Holy shit. Mom, are you in your closet? I can't see his face. It's, like, all fuzzy. His whole body is all blurry. 
Mom, please wait inside in a safe place until the police arrive. God damn it. I'm going to die. I just know it. I'm going to die. It's okay, hon. They're almost there. Wait. Wait a minute. He's gone. He's not down there anymore. Don't worry, sweetheart. The police are a block away. The lights in my house went out. It's okay. Hold tight. They're almost there. Are you okay? No. I'm looking outside. I don't see anything. Everything is dark. Is there a power outage in the neighbourhood? Hold tight. Do you have any flashlight or light on your phone you can use? Yeah, I do. I... Do you hear that? It's so loud. Mom, I'm afraid I can't hear anything. It's like locusts. Ah, it's so loud. It's coming from outside. What's going on? What's going on? It's all right, sweetie. The police are there. You should be safe to come out now. I don't see any police lights. I don't see any... Holy shit! Holy shit! What is it? Tell me what you see. Mom? Are the officers at your location? Mom? There's fucking more of them outside. Mom, could you elaborate? There's more of them. There are like 20 out there. Help me. Where are the fucking police? What do you mean she isn't there? You don't see anything on the property. Do you have the right address? Mom, they are at your location. Do you see any officers? I don't see any police. I just see those fucking people outside. They're not moving or anything. They're just staring at my house. It's so fucking dark out, and the buzzing is getting louder. There are so many of them. I don't know what's happening. Please help me. Please help me. Please help. Mom? Mom? A buzzing noise can be heard for an additional 13 minutes. However, the dispatcher denied hearing this buzzing when he was on the phone with Mary. Officers do not report any persons at the scene. The room of Mary was empty, with no trace of her or the phone where she made the call. Her mother is being questioned for any additional information about Mary's disappearance. Hi guys, thank you so much for listening to today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel, hitting that notification bell so you don't miss a video. So, until next time, sleep tight.